God desires to speak directly to your heart today. He knows the troubles weighing you down, the worries disrupting your sleep, and the anxiety gripping your soul. His message is clear, let go of your worry and anxiety. However, He knows you can't do this on your own. Therefore, He invites you to open your heart to His love. The assurance of His love is more than sufficient to dispel worry and anxiety in your life. To go on this journey of overcoming anxiety and worry, ensure that you watch until the end. Please don't forget to subscribe for other life-changing content. When someone steps on your toes, the natural response is to react out of the pain you feel. Similarly, it's normal to start worrying when things aren't going well. But, pour for a moment and consider this worry and anxiety have never improved a situation. They only make it worse. So, why use your energy on something that drains rather than enriches you? Matthew 6, 25, 27 says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Worry steals your peace and sanity and can also negatively impact your health. Instead of worrying, you can push that same energy into something better. Philippians 4, 8, 9 says, Finally, Brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. In this message to the believers in Philippi, Apostle Paul encourages them to focus their thoughts on positivity. He also urges them to practice the teachings and examples they have seen in him. He promises that when they do so, they will experience the presence of the God of peace. So, if you are distressed, all you need is the God of peace to provide solace and assurance for you. Now, how can you overcome your anxiety and worry? First, you can overcome your anxiety and worry by meditating on God's word. God's word is the ultimate truth for those who believe in God. Even when life is tough and your experiences seem to say otherwise, God's word should be your firm foundation. It's like a rock that you can always depend on. So, no matter what you're going through, trust in God's promises in the Bible. They're true and they'll help you stay strong and hopeful. Imagine turning your worries into meditation points. For instance, if you complain about bad things or feel that life is unfair, you can intentionally redirect your thoughts. Instead of allowing these negative feelings to consume you, search for a scripture that speaks to your situation. As you meditate on these verses, you're not denying the reality of your situation, but you're choosing to view it through the lens of faith. Meditating on God's word is more than just reciting or reading a verse. It's about deeply engaging with it until you truly believe its truth. Many times, your anxiety comes from doubting God's promises, often because you dwell too long on your problems. In such situations, the first step is to strengthen your faith through God's word. All you need to do is to focus on what God says about that situation. When you immerse yourself in this and truly believe it, you'll experience a profound sense of peace and trust. This deep conviction can even lead to the answers to your prayers. So, if you're facing a difficult situation, you must align your heart with God's word through meditation. This practice can transform your perspective, renew your faith, and bring the breakthrough you need. Next, you need to think about God's goodness in your life. He's not just someone who keeps his promises, he has a fundamentally good nature. This means he doesn't want to see you suffer or struggle unnecessarily. 
He desires to help you greatly. The Bible describes God as good. Everywhere he went, he was always doing good deeds. So, when you feel the urge to be anxious about things beyond your control, think about God's goodness. Consider that if he were always doing good for others, he would do the same for you. Instead of allowing anxiety to take hold of you, meditate on God's goodness, knowing that he is always ready to move on your behalf. The thief on the right hand of Jesus is a profound example of God's goodness. Despite his life of sin and the judgment of death, all the thief did was acknowledge Jesus as the Son of God and call out to him for mercy. He said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. This was a simple yet sincere plea for Jesus' help. In response to this humble request, Jesus assured the thief, truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. This shows the incredible grace and mercy of God. The thief did not have the opportunity to perform good deeds, make amends for his sins, or follow a list of religious requirements. All he did was express faith in Jesus, which was enough to secure his place in paradise. This story demonstrates that God's goodness is not on your merit or efforts. It is a gift freely given to all who believe in Jesus Christ. No matter how tough things are, he is ready to show up. All you need to do is humbly acknowledge your need for him and call him for help. So, if you find yourself in a difficult situation, remember the thief on the cross. Like he did, you can simply call out to Jesus in faith, and he will extend his hand of help. Trust in his goodness, and he will never disappoint you. See David's testimony about God's goodness in Psalm 31, 19. He said, How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all, on those who take refuge in you. So, if you fear him, you will always enjoy his goodness. The psalmist also assures you that goodness and mercy will follow you throughout your life. Rather than worry, ponder this promise of God's goodness and mercy. Also, you need to meditate on God's faithfulness. Meditating on God's faithfulness involves recognizing his track record of keeping his promises and providing for his people throughout history. For instance, in running a business, being trustworthy is crucial for attracting customers. Similarly, trusting in his ability to turn things around for you is key in your relationship with God. If you don't pay attention to how God has been faithful in the past, you might doubt his ability to help you in the present. God has consistently shown himself faithful from the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Consider the story of Hagar, who found herself in a desperate situation after being cast out into the wilderness with her son. In her moment of need, God showed up for her. He provided for her and her son, Ishmael, revealing a water well to quench their thirst. The demonstration of God's care overwhelmed her, and she called him El Roy, which means the God who sees me. Reflecting on such instances in your own life or the experiences of others can strengthen your faith. When faced with worries, take a moment to count your blessings and remember how God has shown up for you in the past. This practice can shift your focus from anxiety to trust, reminding you that God can always turn things around for your good. Just as he saw Hagar in her distress, he sees you and is ready to provide for your needs. Prayer can help you overcome your worries. In times of worry and uncertainty, seeking God's presence is more important than wallowing in despair. Instead of isolating yourself and lamenting your circumstances, find a quiet place to pray and seek God's guidance. If you find it difficult to pray, immerse yourself in worship music that reminds you of God's love and faithfulness. Let the songs create an atmosphere of worship and strengthen your heart to reach out to God. Prayer is where you exchange your weakness for God's strength. In this intimate place with God, you can find clarity and peace, especially when you're at a crossroads or unsure of the future. Even Jesus, in his humanity, sought God's presence 
for strength and assurance. When facing his crucifixion, he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, asking for the cup to pass from him if possible. God didn't remove the cup of suffering from him, but he gave Jesus the strength he needed to endure what lay ahead. Sometimes, prayer is the channel of receiving the strength to wait patiently for God's timing. It might not be time to receive an answer to what you're worried about. God won't rush because of your anxiety. Instead, he will reassure you of his love and promise that everything will happen at the perfect time. Answers may not come immediately, but will come at the right time. However, there will be times you'll feel your problem has been overdue for an answer. In such cases, praying until you see your answer is important. You can see a powerful example of this in the story of Hannah. She knew that it was time to receive a child, and she got tired of being without one. Instead of giving in to despair, she went to pray. Her prayer was so intense that the priest thought she was drunk. Her fervent prayer aligned her with God's will. She promised to give her child back to God to serve him. In the place of prayer, God helps you align with his will and redirects your prayers to the right channel. If you've been praying without seeing results, more prayer can help you refocus and align with God's plan. So, instead of worrying, turn to prayer. There is nothing that the power of prayer cannot change. So, draw strength from God's presence and trust He will guide you through every season of life. Then, Having a heart of gratitude can help you overcome your worries. Thanksgiving is a powerful antidote to anxiety. It shifts your focus from challenges to God's faithfulness, allowing you to express gratitude through words, songs, or action. This practice fills your heart with joy. Reflect on what God has done for you and thank Him for His blessings. Even the challenges you face can be opportunities for thanksgiving as you trust God to help you overcome them. It will amaze you how your perspective changes and how obstacles seem to vanish. Thanksgiving uplifts your spirit and attracts God's blessings into your life. It shifts your focus away from negativity toward God's goodness, inviting His blessings to flow into your life. In the story of Jehoshaphat, you will see a powerful example of how praise can lead to victory during difficulties. Instead of panicking or giving in to fear, when faced with a vast army, Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah turned to God in prayer and praise. Jehoshaphat appointed singers to go out ahead of the army, praising God for his holiness and enduring love. Their song acknowledged God's past deeds and promises to protect his people. They praised God for who he was and what he had done. As they sang and praised him, the Lord set ambushes against the enemy armies, causing them to turn against each other. When Judah arrived at the battlefield, their enemies had killed themselves and they only had to gather the plunder. This story teaches the power of praise during difficulties. When you praise God, even in the face of overwhelming odds, you shift your focus from the problem to the problem solver. Praise allows God to work miracles on your behalf and demonstrates your faith and trust in Him. In the story of Lazarus' resurrection, Jesus demonstrated the power of thanksgiving even in the face of death. When Jesus arrived at Lazarus' tomb, He knew that Lazarus had been dead for four days. Despite the sad atmosphere and mourning of those around Him, Jesus remained steadfast in his faith. Before calling Lazarus out of the tomb, see what he did in John 11:41. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Offering thanks to God before performing the miracle shows his trust in the Father's power and plan. His prayer also served as a teaching moment for those present, highlighting the importance of faith and thanksgiving in God's miraculous work. This story proves that thanksgiving is not just a response to blessings you receive, but also a declaration of faith in God's ability to bring life out of death. It teaches you to approach God with gratitude and faith, even in seemingly impossible situations. 
So, take some time today to thank God for the stubborn issues and watch Him intervene on your behalf. In conclusion, overcoming worry and anxiety requires a holistic approach that addresses both the mind and body. It's essential to stay clear of negative news and avoid triggers that can heighten anxiety. Instead, focus on positive and uplifting content that nourishes your soul. Seeking professional help is a courageous step toward healing. A mental health professional can provide you with tools and strategies to manage your anxiety effectively. Practicing journaling can be a therapeutic way to process your thoughts and emotions. Write down your worries and fears, then counter them with positive affirmations and truths of God's Word. Taking care of your physical health is equally important. Engage in regular exercise, eat nourishing foods, and prioritize sleep. These simple practices can have a profound impact on your mental well-being. Self-care should be a top priority. It's essential to pay less attention to what people say and focus more on pleasing God. When you prioritize pleasing others over God, you can easily fall into the trap of being a people pleaser. This can lead to anxiety and worry as you constantly strive to meet others' expectations and gain their approval. Instead, focus on living a life that honors God and aligns with His will. Prioritizing pleasing God can bring peace and contentment as you know you are following His plan. Also, set aside time to do things that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether reading a book, listening to music, or spending time outdoors, Self-care is essential for your overall well-being. Lastly, trust in God's plan for your life. Surrender your worries to Him and rest in His love and care. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles. God is with you, guiding you through every step of your journey. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart overflowing with gratitude for your faithfulness goodness, and love. Your record of keeping promises and providing for your people throughout history assures me that you are always ready to show up for me. I thank you for your love and care. Lord, I confess that I often allow worry and anxiety to cloud my mind and heart. I worry about things beyond my control and forget to trust in your perfect timing. Please forgive me for doubting your goodness and your plan for my life. Help me to exchange my weakness for your strength through prayer, knowing that you are always with me, guiding me through every season of life. Thank you, Lord. Help me align my heart with your will and persist in prayer until I receive the answers. Just as Hannah prayed earnestly for a child and God blessed her with Samuel, I pray that you will answer my prayers according to your perfect plan and timing. Lord, I thank you for the power of thanksgiving. Help me to shift my focus from challenges to your faithfulness, knowing that you are always ready to turn things around for my good. Teach me to praise you in difficulties, just as Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah did, trusting that you will fight my battles and bring victory in your name. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy that follow me throughout my life. Help me to focus on your goodness and to trust in your provision, knowing that you are always working for my good. Fill me with your peace, Lord, and help me to rest in your love. Help me prioritize my well-being and not be overly concerned with others' opinions. Grant me the strength to focus on pleasing you. I confess that times I have fallen into the trap of being a people pleaser, seeking validation and approval from others instead of seeking your will. Forgive me, Lord, and help me shift my focus back to you. Guide me to live a life that honors you. My actions and decisions must align with your plan. Help me find peace and comfort in knowing I am following your path. Lord, I commit my worries and anxieties to you. Help me to surrender to your will and to trust in your perfect plan for my life. 
May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please hit the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more soul-lifting videos. See you in the next one.